So I had a bunch of friends tell me, you know, go see this movie. Come on, do it for your Halloween special. And I was like, I've seen the trailer to this movie. I, I know who's in it. And, you know, it's been shown on, at the theater a couple of times when I've gone to see a movie that I did a review on. But it never really struck my, you know, interests. So, but, I mean, I don't know. I was just kind of maybe jumping to conclusions. But, I mean, I saw Demi Moore in the movie. And, honestly... I haven't seen a lot of movies with Demi Moore, but I mean, I'm not saying she's a bad actress or anything like that. It's just a lot of the movies I've watched, haven't seen her in them. I don't know why. I think the last movie I saw with her in it was Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. And that's really the last movie. I'm being totally honest here. But I mean, people kept saying that it was a really good movie. And I was like, okay, I'll do a little research on it. So when I was doing research on this movie, I was expecting it to be like a psychological horror movie. Turned out it was a body horror movie. And I was like, nothing in this trailer says body horror. But then later after watching it, I was like, now I see why. So I was thankful to everybody who told me to go see this movie because it was amazing. So the substance is this new satire body horror film that is written and directed by Cor Coralie Forge. I feel like I just slandered her name completely. I am so sorry about that. But the movie stars Demi Moore, who is actually playing this actress named Elizabeth Sparkle. <laughs> I, sorry, it's just that name Sparkle as her last name. <laughs> that strikes my interest is she picked that name herself. But anyway, she is this actress who has basically had her moment in the spotlight. She's reached the pinnacle of her career. She has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but now she's reached that moment where she is, you know, old and, you know, needs, you know, she's now old news and everything like that. And her producer, who is an asshole and is played very well by Dennis Quaid, tells her that, you know, she's old news and he's looking to replace her and of course she turns to this new black market drug called the substance that supposedly can create a younger version of herself and actually in all reality it does because it ends up coming out of her back in the Cronenberg style <laughs> that is like pulling from his movie The Fly there. The one thing that this movie explains so well is the rules of this drug. It is the one rule that cannot be broken. The substance must be used completely in balance with each other. One week as the new self, one week as the original self, you cannot break the balance or there'll be serious consequences. It's explained so well in the movie and honestly with the way the movie looks, you kind of expect it to be complex, but it's not complex at all. It's actually explained very clearly. And that's something that was great about this movie. They didn't go into full detail about like where the substance came from either. And that's actually good because all she goes like straight for it. She, Miss Sparkle uses it right away. She doesn't even hesitate. One thing that I had to keep reminding myself is the thing about when she's in her younger self, that is not, you know, Elizabeth anymore. When she's her younger self, she is this character named Sue, played by Margaret Folly. And the thing is, I had to keep reminding myself that when she is Sue, she is not Elizabeth. It's like, you know, Sue was created from Elizabeth, but she is not her whatsoever. She believes she is her own person. She has her own soul. And Elizabeth is a completely different person, which is interesting to me because I was expecting, you know, when Sue came, you know, into being that she was just going to be Elizabeth, you know, just in Sue's body. But no, she has her own personality, her own feelings. They are completely separate people altogether. This movie is quite a trip. I will say it is trippy. And the thing is, is that I really cannot believe it took me so long to go see this movie. It's a great body horror movie without a doubt. But the thing is that it's very interesting. It really kept me entertained. It really plays on one person's own self-identity when they reach that certain point in their life. And it really, revolving it around the entertainment industry was a good ploy because Demi Moore's character was once the person 
that everyone wanted to be. She was an Oscar winner. She has her own star. But now she's reached that point in her, her life where she's just a person now. And she's like, you know, being passed up because she's old. And it comes to that point where she's had that midlife crisis, you know, seeing younger people take the stage and taking spots where she was. And she's craving that feeling to have that again, that she will even change into a different person. It's very interesting because this symbiotic relationship these two have, both Demi Moore and uh, Margaret Qualley, it's their two characters like really work well together to the point like you're like asking so many questions because it's not like Elizabeth is, you know, reliving her, you know, youth. It Sue was created from Elizabeth and now she is living her own life in these seven days before she has to go back and be Elizabeth again. But we remember that Elizabeth is the core. She is the one who created Sue. But is she the one we really want to watch when Sue is the one who is keeping us entertained? It just really plays on a lot of those feeling as to like, who is really the real person here? This movie's been out like since the end of September. So I'm pretty sure a lot of critics have already said a lot of the same stuff that I've already said myself. But Margaret Qualley and Demi Moore were both incredible in this movie. Like Oscar nominee performance here. If these two are not at least nominated, then I mean, there's something wrong here because they were just incredible. Also, the body horror here really, really picks up in the third act. Like, seriously, it just like went from one to 100 real quick. And I'm like, wow, that was a jump. It was like, they definitely pulled from the fly more than anything in this movie. This had like, you know, fly inspiration written all over it. 2024 continues to surprise us with the horror genre. I'm giving The Substance an A+. Another one added to the list for great horror films this year. All right, well, that just about wraps up this review. If you guys have seen The Substance, please comment here down below what your thoughts were on it. Also, if you like my other videos, you can check out here more on my channel. And always remember to stay epic.